Even after a month, the investigation into the Air India Flight 171 crash has only concluded that the fuel supply to the engine was cut off. But this conclusion raises more questions than answers. Who did it and why? That's why the investigation might take more time, possibly even months or years, to uncover the real cause of the crash. But what if we had cockpit video, sensor data, and other critical information transmitted in real time via data link? We could have determined the real cause of the crash much faster, without wasting time and resources. It's 2025, and unfortunately, we're still relying on a black box to solve modern airplane crashes. Why is that? We've got Netflix streaming 4K in the sky, but somehow we still can't stream real-time cockpit data? The black box is a bright orange device that records flight data and cockpit audio. It's been around since the 1960s, and every commercial plane still has it. It mainly consists of two components. The flight data recorder, which captures thousands of flight parameters like speed, altitude, and engine status. And the cockpit voice recorder, which stores the last 30 to 120 minutes of cockpit conversations, warning sounds, and even subtle background noises. This data is crucial. It tells investigators what happened before a crash. Whether it was a pilot mistake, technical failure, weather, or something else. But here's the catch. It only helps after you recover it. If it's lost or damaged, case closed, no answers. Luckily, the black box of the Indian airline was found, which may help uncover the real cause of the crash. But what if the black box is lost or damaged, like in many past crashes? That could leave the incident a complete mystery forever. Take Malaysia Airlines, flight MH370. It vanished in 2014. Until today, the black box has never been found. These cases show the biggest limitation of the black box. If you can't find it, you can't solve it. The second issue is that the black box doesn't contain cockpit video. So even if the black box is recovered, it might not clearly reveal what exactly happened in the cockpit during the final moments. This leaves many questions unanswered, even after decoding. Like in the case of the Air India crash, where it's still unclear who cut off the engine's fuel supply. So, technically, it is possible to record cockpit video and store it in the black box. Many military aircraft often have video recording for mission review, but in commercial plane, it is still extremely rare or non-existent. The biggest reason that commercial planes don't have cockpit video recording is resistance from pilot unions and aviation groups. They fear it could be misused, for surveillance or blame, rather than just for accident investigation. They argue that voice and flight data are enough for investigations. So now, let's discuss the main question. Why don't commercial planes transmit cockpit audio, sensor data, and other critical information in real time. Modern airplanes do transmit some data in real time, but not in the level of detail stored in the black box. They typically send only basic information to air traffic control and airline operations, including the aircraft's GPS position, speed, altitude, some engine health data, and ATC voice communications. This data is very light, just a few kilobytes per second, similar to sending a WhatsApp message. However, transmitting full black box data in real time can exceed 100 kilobytes per second per aircraft. Sending such data is considered costly, especially since airplanes often fly over remote ocean areas where other communication sources are unavailable, meaning the data must be transmitted via satellites. At any given moment, there are around 12,000 planes flying globally. If each transmitted 100 kilobit per second of data, that would add up to 1.2 gigabytes per second globally. Now, there may be over 8,000 communication satellites in orbit, but most of them are already busy handling things like GPS, TV, weather, military and other services. 
Adding 1.2 gigabytes of extra data per second might not sound like a lot, just about 1.5 kilobit per second per satellite, but it can still cause problems. Satellites can get overloaded, and in remote areas like oceans, the signal is already weak or sometimes not available at all. To handle non-stop plane data properly, we'd need to rearrange or even add more satellites to make sure there's strong and stable coverage wherever planes fly. Besides bandwidth, cost is another major hurdle. Aircraft would need specialized hardware costing over $10,000 per plane, along with monthly data subscriptions ranging from $500 to $1,500 for real-time transmission at 100 kilobit per second. Many pilots and airlines are hesitant to adopt real-time monitoring due to concerns about being constantly watched or recorded. Finally, most planes flying today are decades old, and many lack the infrastructure to support this kind of data transmission without major upgrades. In short, there are many challenges with constant real-time data transmission. So what if, instead of streaming data all the time, it's only sent during an emergency? This is known as smart emergency streaming. The idea is simple. The system activates high data transmission only when something goes wrong, like engine failure, rapid altitude drop, or a fire warning. In such cases, only a few megabytes of critical data need to be sent. That's extremely low, right? This is a practical solution that could be widely adopted in the future. In fact, many regulators already have plans to encourage airlines and aircraft manufacturers to implement smart or triggered streaming of key flight data. Some airlines are even testing smarter systems for emergency data transmission. The technology exists, it just needs stronger enforcement and wider adoption.